Now new at five, keeping you and your pets safe from rabies. We have an exclusive look at how the U.S. Department of Agriculture is trying to eradicate rabies. And Channel 2's Craig Lucy went to Dalton today, where they're dropping close to two million rabies vaccination baits from the air. And Craig, this is a major operation. Justin, it is. They set up a command post at the Dalton Airport with five planes involved, and they are dropping baits right here. They're about the size of this honey packet, and they're dropping them from the air. And we were inside the command post as they tracked those bait drops, and we have video from inside inside their planes to show you how this operation will keep you and your pets safe. A pilot, a spotter, and this U.S. Department of Agriculture employee are part of a major operation to eradicate rabies and raccoons. As this bowl turns, it's dropping thousands of rabies vaccinations called Rabrol VRG into the forest below. On a bright, sunshiny day, we can put upwards of 300,000 baits out. The USDA has these five planes loaded with thousands of rabies baits. One by one, the planes take off and then they are tracked live inside this command post. They're flying line transects at the moment covering portions of Alabama. From Alabama, they will cover parts of Tennessee, North Carolina, and Northwest Georgia with this goal in mind. To prevent the westward spread of raccoon rabies. Raccoon rabies in the eastern United States is a substantial public health problem. The USDA buys the baits from the company Mariel, which has an office in Duluth and this warehouse in Athens. They brought in this refrigerated truck from Mariel's plant in Athens where they make these vaccines. It was filled up with 1.8 million. Now they're down to 900,000. But by Friday, they hope to have it completely empty. I have these gloves on because these things smell awful. The baits themselves are coated in uh, fish, fish oil as well as fish crumbles, so they're highly attractive to wildlife. By vaccinating wildlife, they're the ones who are in contact mostly with both livestock and pets. And then they are the ones who are in contact a lot with the humans and end up with the public health problem of rabies. After they wrap up in Dalton, they are heading to Texas, where they have already had success eradicating rabies and coyotes and foxes in parts of that state. Now, the USDA says if your dog or cat comes in contact with one of these baits, ingest it, then they will be okay. It will not hurt them, but they say that you should still have your dog and cat vaccinated. Live in the newsroom, Craig Lucy, Channel 2 Action News.